I'm up against the clock and I don't want to do I don't want to start this and then have to stop so let me um, uh, let me take a break here and give you our sponsor this half hour. Today I want to um, I want to talk to you about something. I, I want to talk to you about um, uh, a portion of um, my life that um, I want to share with you um, because I think it's going to lead me in, um, in in different places. I don't necessarily mean physically, but mentally. I think this is going to be a spiritual journey. It is going to be a um, uh, a physical journey. It is going to be a mental journey, um, and I, I would like to, um, I'd like to be able to share it with you and the things that I have learned, and it, and you'll be able also to see why I'm going the places that I am, and what I am doing. Next week on Monday and Tuesday, I am uh, going to take uh, time off. I'm going out west uh, to uh, have some testing done. I have told you um, before that um, I have been losing feeling in my hands and my feet, and I have been feeling tingling in my uh, hands and my feet, uh, and uh, it's traveling up my arms, and it's just a very bizarre uh, sensation. It almost feels like I'm wearing gloves at times, because I, I, I was talking to my kids the other day about fingerprints, and I, I couldn't I couldn't feel my fingerprints. It was bizarre. Um, and uh, I thought if it was only true, man, I could, I could be like a master thief. Um, uh, so it's been very, it's, it's, it's been strange. I've told you also that um, I have been diagnosed with uh, macular dystrophy, which means that I love this diagnosis. I could be totally fine with eyesight for the rest of my life, or I could be blind within a year. <laughs> the macular dystrophy has not progressed at all in uh, the two months since it's been diagnosed. Um, but there's something else that has also been going on, and if you are a long-time listener, you might even be able to tell it I can um, just by listening to my voice now. Um, there is something wrong with my voice, uh, and we're not sure what it is. I went in and had some uh, testing done, and there's nothing like sticking scopes through your nose and then having doctors look through the scopes in your nose. And uh, they're passing the scope back and forth, going, "Look at this, doctor. What do you think this is?" And I'm, I'm like, "What are you guys seeing? What, what, what are you looking at? What are you seeing? Tell it to me." Um, um, and I'll, I'll tell you more about this uh, next week. Um, but uh, there's just some things that are that are happening, and um, we don't know what they are yet. And they're doing all kinds of testing. They're going to be doing CAT scans and uh, MREs or MRIs and and uh, PET scans, and they're going to be doing uh, blood work like crazy. Uh, and the thing that they said to me, I've seen now uh, five different doctors, and I've got an incredible group of doctors who are. Um, I don't think only one of them really hates me, um, and I have the other the other four watching that one. Um, but uh, they're looking one of them said to me the other night we have to do all of these blood tests because we have to look for um, toxins and poisons and, uh, and that word stuck out to me and it's not poison like you know it's like, it's like lead paint and I'm like no I haven't been eating lead chips um, and uh, And that word stuck out to me. Night before last, I was um, laying in bed next to my wife. And she put her hand on my back and she said to me, What are you doing? Honey, go to sleep. She said that to me at 3 o'clock in the morning. I had been reading a couple of books because I'm so far behind in my reading. But I had closed one of these books because I'm doing research and I'm trying to understand more. And I had closed one of these books about an hour before. And I said I just to myself, I just can't look at this. 
Then I said a prayer. And as I was praying, I noticed that I wasn't praying as hard for healing as I should. Which led me to the first conversation I had with a neurologist who said to me, well, we don't know what this is, but, uh, but we're investigating here, here, and here. And um, I said, could this be brought on by stress? Could this be brought on because I'm just, you know. And he said, no, not this. And he said, you know, that's not making it better. And I said, so should I, maybe should I stop? And he said, no, you're, you're okay. I was disappointed. And the other day, I thought about it and I thought, I can't even pray and cry out to the Lord. I have cried out to the Lord a lot in the last four years. I couldn't cry out to Him for that. That got me to thinking. A house divided against itself cannot stand. People will say about me, they have written about me. In fact, the New York Times just did their big piece and they said, I don't think Glenn Beck even knows who he is. In some ways, that is true. I know who I am. I am just like you. A son of a Father in Heaven that loves me. And I try to serve Him. But that is, that is something that I will never even come close to mastering and work my whole life. I am a guy who's trying to be better at it. I know who I am. But when they wrote that, it is so true, because I don't know where I'm supposed to end up. I don't know how to do this. In the last 24 hours, as I've been thinking about the doctor saying, we're looking for toxins, we're looking for poisons in your body. I know what they are. For four years, I have tried to understand the mind of what I believe are monsters. It started with Walter Lippmann. First book that I closed and said I can't read this anymore was Walter Lippmann. And it was about how they can breed better people and how there are undesirable. I never finished them. That was the first one. And for four years, I have been trying to understand the mind of people that I, I think are so misled. And they are the exact opposite of what I have tried to be, what I want to be, what I strive for. But I have done it because I have to. I have to understand it. I have to see what's try to understand, to explain what's coming, what's happening. And not for you, but for my children. I believe we can be better people. I believe in the American experiment. But I also believe there are very misguided people. And I have been drinking that poison, which others may not find poison, but I do, because it is the exact opposite of me. And I have been, that which you gaze upon, you become. And I have been trying not to become that. And that is the internal struggle. And that is where I want to take it next. A warning to you and a and ask for specific help on something next